Hey everyone, this is Larry. Welcome back to todayifeellike.com. Today, I'm gonna show you something simple that some of you probably know how to do and others may not, but that is how you can do a reverse image search on Google. So if you find a picture of somebody and you're curious to know, what is it or who is it? Well, now you can actually do a search based off an image. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. I'm gonna show you on my iPad today, but this will work on your phones and other tablets and your computers. So let's hop in, take a look, and here we go. All right, so here I am on my iPad, and this is gonna work on various devices with different browsers, but I'm going to use the Safari browser on my iPad today. So let's go ahead and open up Safari. And from here, all we need to do is go to Google. So I'm gonna type in google.com and go to Google. Now from the Google homepage here, you'll see where it says about and store, and then on the right-hand side, it says Gmail and images. What I wanna do is go ahead and click images. And now from this page, you'll see where it says Google images. And in the search bar, there is a magnifying glass and a camera icon. We wanna go ahead and click the camera icon. And now it's gonna say we can search by pasting an image URL or we can upload an image. So I'm gonna go ahead and upload an image and it's gonna ask me to choose a file. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose the file and I'm gonna select photo library. So I'm gonna choose a photo from my photo library and I'm gonna go ahead and select recents and I'm just gonna choose this photo right here. And so we'll click that. It's gonna upload the photo and then there you go. You can see it's going to show us all kinds of different results. You'll see here it's gonna say possible related search Jenna Frooms and you can see here it's gonna say uh, visually similar images, so it's gonna show all other all types of other photos of her so that we can see there, and it's gonna show a whole lot of Jenna Froome, so we're gonna know who it actually is. Now, we can also click on any other image that we want to, so let's say we wanna click on that one, we can click that, and then we can start checking out some of the other stuff and say, yep, that's definitely the same person, that is who I was looking for, and now we know who it is that it is that we uh, actually saw the photo for and we were searching for their photo. So it's really just that easy. Now let's say we wanna search for something else. Let's go here and we'll go back to upload images again. And I'm gonna choose another photo from my photo library. And we'll go to all photos again. And I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna find, uh, actually let's see if we can go here. Let's go to my favorites tab. And I'm gonna go here and search on this right there. That photo right there, I'm gonna click that and I'm gonna upload that, fo that file, and we can see there, it's going to tell us that this is actually the Lincoln Memorial. So there we have it. We can actually search buildings in there and find out what it is. So that is actually a shot of the Lincoln Memorial, and the Google image search was able to find out that it was. So that is very, very cool. Now there's one last search I wanna try, and that is with animals. So I'm gonna go ahead back over to the little, uh, f the little camera icon, and I'm gonna choose upload an image again, and I'm gonna choose a file, and I'm gonna go ahead and choose photo library again, and now I'm gonna go ahead and choose the, uh, the image that I wanna choose. So I'm gonna go ahead into this folder right there, and I'm gonna choose this picture right here, which is of a bird. I'm gonna go ahead and select done. It's going to upload the photo there, and it's then going to start loading it up, and there we go. We can see that it is going to identify this as a snowy owl. And that's actually correct. It is a snowy owl. I, I shot this photo, the one that I uploaded, I shot that at the Baltimore Zoo, and it, it's a snowy owl. So not only is this thing going to actually upload it, and actually you can see right there, it even gives me the, uh, it actually shows me where the photo was from, where it shows my portfolio, Lawrence Storage Photography. It actually shows that but it also tells you what the bird actually is. So this is very, very cool. It's a really great tool and it's available right there on the Google uh, search engine, the Google web browser. So you can use it for all kinds of great stuff, for people, for animals, for buildings. If you wanna know what something is, load up a photo of it or load up a, a link to that photo and then let Google do the searching and find out what it is. All right, everyone, so there you have it. That is how you can do a quick reverse image search with Google. It is very, very cool. 
It makes it super easy to find out who people are, where places are, what animals you're looking at. So if you want to look up what kind of bird or what kind of animal or cat, dog or whatever it is, you can look that up. If you see a person online and you're like, that person looks so familiar, but I can't think of who it is, you can do a reverse image search on there and find that name. So it's very, very cool and nice and handy. It also works for buildings. So if you were on vacation or something, you shot a, a picture of a building, but you can't remember the name of it, you can actually upload your photo or even paste a URL of that building on there, a link to that photo on there and Google will search and find it and give you the information back. So there you have it. So anyhow, I'm gonna leave a link to Google Images down below in the video description so that you guys can try it out. I'm also gonna leave a link to my Amazon page so you can see all the products that I've reviewed over time and all links to my social media contacts. So you can reach me on Twitter and Instagram, Tumblr, wherever so you can find me and say hello. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and follow me on Facebook. And I am Larry with todayifeellike.com. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace.